Five years to go before the Millennium Development Goals set by world leaders are supposed to be met. Now, we've had reports and we've had surveys, but what's the view from the streets, from the people who live on the edge? In this case, on the edge of a continent. As a captain, I normally wake, I'm on standby for 24 hours. I wake up at 6 o'clock. We are having six hour shift. At the bridge, we are three. Me as a captain, a chief mate, and the second mate. I've been working with Ms. Johanna Kwevi, he's my captain, for two years. She's the one who gave an order, what had to, to be done for the day, everything like that. So everything, the order is came from him, I mean from her. My responsibility is to command. Since I have 23 crew member on board, they are all under my authority. Some of the people, they have this mental of saying, oh, I can't be told to do this to a woman. Since a man is a pillar or a head of the house, it's not working anymore. It's not working anymore. My shipmates on board the vessel, Hello. they are wonderful. Each and everybody is having his duty. And we have procedures 
whereby we have to follow and if we don't then we we will see what we have to do with that That is very good, and the quality is much better. Thank you very much. I pass my question. I hope you enjoy your time off on the land. I have a young boy of 14 months. He's lovely and he's a strong boy because we are out at sea from 7 days up to 15 days. So it's quite long for a, boy, a young boy. I met Innocent's father on land, although we are working at sea. We didn't get a, an opportunity to work in the same vessel because we're having the same link. This is my cousin, Auguste. So she's taking care of my boy when I'm out at sea. Yes. <laughs> What I need is more than honey. Oh, you just want to make that. The addition which I got at sea, it's more than what I got on shore. Because they pass by, hi, hi, me, Joanna. But here on show, when I say hi, hi, it's just hi. Because some people, they used to come here, phone me with my cousin and say, Apu meme. When they came to my side, say, I'm giving to her. <laughs> but I don't blame them at all. I just take it as it is. Life is beautiful. Mm -hmm. Yeah. just for tomorrow morning because I'm go I'm living with my son so I'm trying to put everything in order 
So this is uh, the book which keep me going. Mm -hmm. So I can survive without them. I can survive without other things on it. So, but this one, while I'm on it, I'm living with this one. That's a bag of the other auntie. I'm going to my auntie just to say, you know, we are leaving tomorrow morning with my son for because now I'm on leave. So I have to say goodbye. She can give me some blessing, you see. <laughs> This is the a place where I stay for six years when I came to Rotrex. For the six years, I'm staying in this house, whereby there is no electricity, there is no bathroom, there is no toilet. We used to go to the mountain with peace of mind. I was just happy with this. And people, they say, wow, an officer staying in the Shan's town. I said, no, to be there with peace of mind, that makes me healthy and life goes on like that. Ota <laughs> Oh, this is my grandmother oh, on my mother's side. So, I told me, my mom brought me here when I was young. So 
so she's the one who took care of me. And she, she teach me many things, traditional things. I was the only lady in the house. There was no boy. You know, she one boy. They said that kujo kumoho irongo manga kujo eripo. So my granny is there. She says, no, I just have to try. Then I just used to chop those woods on my own and look after the cattle after school. All of those things I have learned from granny. Jack in she teach me to be strong. You say I have my house and I take care of you. So if you go there, you have to work very hard. Then I'm very happy. I'm just where I am because of my grandma. I'm happy for her. The big challenge in this country is for the young people. It's they fail pregnancy at the early age. So they say, no, just try abortion. Without education, then your life, it's, it's behind. It's meaningless. When it was time for me to deliver my innocence, it was quite complicated. Because when I experienced the pain labor, I went to my doctor. Then he said, no, I think you need an operation. So she referred me to Windhoek. Because here in Lodret, the hospital doesn't have enough equipment. Okay, but is this new building Here in Namibia, the death rate of small children it causes because young people when during their pregnancy they don't understand, they don't go to the clinic. Some they don't know the importance of going to the clinic during their pregnancy. Some they have financial problem and they can't, the hospital is very far. And some they just ignore, say no, what for? I can even deliver at home. 
my mom and my grandmother they were just the river here and there was i can't just waste my money there because they are not working and they did not plan for that <laughs> At the tender age, I was just, I just found myself being close to my father than my mom. So I, I can tell him everything, but to my mom, I can't. Why I grow bara? When I think I see my baby, I want to carry on to bara. I'm going to mommy. I'm bara. She shut me. I'm bara. Pop so. Oh, she angora. This one is my one and only brother I have in life. So his name is Jose Akwezi. So he's my elder brother. You are now another more great seven, and eh? She showed you on the door who in a postcard. I pack over your shin and ash to Natango, Maumbogiri Pope Pig, Giant Dino Jato Girmano, or had the inn or here on Golera letter. geography honestly speaking in and nande futa kuja oja changini yeah asiko tero tiri longo nawa o niptai da o hiptai da asiki nandiri mona ke sikuja shini ma japa pen onjodi Thank <laughs> you. 
see, if you have more women participating in the economy, the economy will grow, grow faster also. Because women don't go to Kabashu. <laughs> Before I conclude my remarks, I would like to invite the female captain for everybody to see. When the founder president called me to go in France, oh, I feel shocked a bit, you know, and later I said, no. Um, let's just go there. I was very happy. I was very much happy. Mandengo wa muziro. Mandengo wa mo. Mandengo wa muziro. We have to do it. Just do it and among men and yeah you are there on top operating the wind, they are down there. Some of them say, oh, what a young lady. I feel yes. This is a way of showing the men that we are capable of doing something at the end of the day. I enjoy it.